clients who present in the clinic with cervicogenic headache and or limits in the cervical spine often have a limit in the movement of C2 on C3. In this particular segment right here, its limits affect movement in all the different directions in the cervical spine. We'll often see that people with that limit need to restore movement of rotation in that segment where C2 glides posterior and caudal on C3. It's going to move this direction as this individual rotates to the right. Clients who have cervicogenic headache many times have a cluster of limits in C2-3, C3-4, and C4-5 side bending. We uh, determine that through testing that we teach in our course. Once we find that, it's often beneficial to mobilize C2 on C3 in an extension rotation direction on that same side. So in order to do that, we have the client sitting, we fill up the space with the head, we will now stabilize over C3. I usually push in a ventral and caudal direction to bring C2 onto, or C3 onto C4. I'll stabilize C3 on C4 in a ventral caudal direction by placing my hand on the C3 articular process. Then I'll take the, my mobilizing hand with the forearm supinated, the ulnar side of the hand will rest against the C2. I'll then use a three-dimensional motion of rotation, slight side bending in the ipsilateral direction and extension and now the glide will be in a dorsal caudal direction to glide C2 dorsal caudal on C3. This promotes rotation of C2 on C3 towards the right. A nice simple technique to help the client regain movement. And what we found is when we do this, often we get motion in C3-4 and C4-5 underneath it. That cluster begins to improve.